Thank you, Mr. Chairman, very much, and thank you for having this very important hearing. Uh, Secretary Roth, we appreciated your phone call uh, last week regarding the basing of the F-35s and the Air Force, uh, the Singapore Air Force F-16s. That was good news, and again, uh, as I said, that's, that's great for the area and all of that, but that really is the best decision for the country. Um, General Brown, we appreciated getting to visit with you on the phone not too long ago and uh, talking about Air Force priorities. Yesterday I had a, the opportunity to visit with Chief Bass. She represents you very, very well and uh, is, I think is doing an outstanding job. Uh, you all make a great team. Uh, and then uh, General Raymond, uh, earlier today, getting to visit with you about your priorities. Thank all of you all for the great job that you're doing and we will help you any way we can, you know that. Uh, the Air Force, uh, General Brown, is looking at adding growing its fleet of F-35s, uh, fifth generation fighters, in order to, to, to keep up to uh, counter adversarial threats. They're some of the most expensive programs in the defense budget. How's the Air Force getting, uh, how are we doing, uh, and again, this is for all of you all, how are we, what are we doing to lower our procurement cost? How are we able to, to sustain costs so that we can continue to equip our airmen with the best aircraft in the world. Well, you know, I'll either start one. and then yes, sir. We, we can move on. I, I, what we have adopted in terms of acquisition of new systems is we are trying to take advantage of many of the new authorities that have been provided to us in recent uh, authorization acts in, in terms of trying to do things smarter, trying to th do things quicker, and being more agile in how we do things. Greater use of prototyping, uh, greater use of, of using sort of serial kind of procurement rather than focusing on one end objective and having a 20-year kind of an acquisition program. So we're being much more agile. We, we talked earlier today about digital, the digital trinity. So we're using digital engineering. We're using open systems architecture. Uh, and, and we're using those kinds of capabilities as we go, as we go forward. I would offer that, that two or three of our major examples of that that are in the FY22 budget is one is the Next Generation Air Dominance Program, which is platform-centric, and it's looking in terms of making sort of a serial improvement to the platform as we go forward. The other is the global, um, the, 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 the strategic missile, you know, the ICBM replacement program. And that, too, is using heavy use. I had actually had an opportunity to go out to Hill Air Force Base and visit with both the government side and the contractor side. And it's, it's just fascinating the way they're using just basically modeling, digital engineering modeling in order, and they have met every, every milestone in terms of cost, schedule, and performance to date. Still relatively early in the program, but they're making great progress. Uh, so we're trying to make sure that we try to, try to delegate down to the lowest level in terms of program management and, and to try to reduce the bureaucracy in, the, in, in terms of reviews. That said, we establish metrics, we establish risk-based metrics, and we are going to constantly look at, at whether people are meeting those metrics or not. So in general, we're trying to break the bureaucracy, trying to move more agile, quicker across the board. Uh, General Brown, quickly, or the chairman will yell at me, the F 15EX, why is it so important to the tactical fighter fleet? And what capabilities does it have that complement the fifth generation fighters like the F 35? It, the uh, real capability of the F 15EX uh, is the aspect that uh, comes in to replace the F 15Cs. Okay. And the F 15Cs have, have really aged out. Um, we need to retire those. Uh, the beauty of the F 15EX is that uh, really about 70 to 90% of the infrastructure, the equipment, can actually that we already have can be used uh, so it makes a very smooth transition to this particular capability mm -hmm. it will also complement because of the, uh, the the size in uh, payload that it can carry um, can be a weapon truck is the way we kind of describe it to uh, provide firepower um, where we have the f-35 that actually now can uh, can penetrate more deeply in the combination of those two provide uh, uh, things that our adversaries have to think about um, because we have several different options of ways we can come after good thank you